from this gnarly little diner on 14th. Right uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, remember that article that I showed you um, in the New York Times about um, like non-alcoholic mixed drinks and how those like they become like a fad in New York? Um, no, but I believe you. Well, that, yeah. yeah. Um, I was just Give me the out door, the huh? To, uh, thank you. Thanks. They got the ingredients for sex on the beach. Uh huh. There wasn't vodka or schnapps in it. It sounded pretty good. It sounded pretty good. Yeah, a lot of mixed drinks sound pretty good to they me until really, it's like. Yeah, and then and, and then, then it's like. I mean, ethanol. I guess it's in their nature because you got to cover up the disgusting fucking taste of oh, alcohol. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you know? uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is like funny because like I, I feel like. And he has well, I feel like it's honest mixed drinks, which is why I really like them because it's it's like fully acknowledging the fact that you're drinking like acid, but, or you know what goes down at least is acid. But but I but I think that's like what. I don't like, like I, I I disagree. I feel like drinking straight vodka is like more honest because you're just drinking. Oh, well, I think it's more honest about the um the culture of like drinking it though. Cause like you drink it to get drunk, but like you fully acknowledge the fact that like it's not something you would be drinking otherwise. Oh, okay. Like that's why. Like yeah, yeah straight okay. vodka because you because you can say oh vodka tastes great maybe. Oh oh, oh no no no. And but, I've heard but, people but, say but, that. But, so it's like but, like, yeah. like 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 the, the pure. No, I, I understand your standpoint also. Okay. You know. Can someone like confirm this or knows this? It this is the Salvation Army like world fucking headquarters across the street, and it's a little too far for me to zoom in on. And I'm not gonna cross the road because whatever. But it says on that emblem there. The Salvation Army on the ribbon part on the bottom, and then it says "Blood and Fire" in the circle. Whatever, you know. Also, like, like the fucking, they—they're not like the. Uh, no. They're, uh, I, I guess like fencing stores. I—I—I I, I, I thought they were the uh, the three prong things that wrap my own from the Ninja Turtle piece. Oh, actually, um. For this yeah. Um, Why? I'm. I know what you mean, but I forget what they're yeah, called the, as well. The, yeah. Like mini tridents. Yeah. Like yeah. Like like tridents. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a thing. But yeah, like, you know. yeah. Anyway, um, it's no, they're actually fencing. Things, but it's, it's like, like across a snake and two fencing swords. Yeah. Yeah, but like it also, like from afar, like looks like a dollar sign. It does. <laughs> to be asleep. I need to get it clean. This was a cheap suit. This is from H&M. It was like 200 bucks, which in the grand pantheon of suits is about, you know, basically fucking bottom of the barrel. But it fits me nice. I enjoy it. Look at that. Ta-da! I wish I dressed up more. I'm gonna start doing that more. I only want to look like um, a business executive's son from now on. This is my, uh, my rule. So, look at that, yeah. I have my snappy shoes. Look at these shoes. They're so huge. I love fashion. I don't talk about it enough. I sort of got out of it when I came to New York because, like, well, just been busy, you know? So, only I barely even have time for photography at first. But um, I'm getting back in the swing of things, getting to be more myself, which is nice because originally that was the, the shitty trade off about coming here, is having to reacclimate. But now that I'm sort of here, it's, it's great. It's fucking awesome. So, um, I'm going to go to Betty Bye. And then um, I have an interview tomorrow at 5 in Midtown. I gotta go. I gotta go. Um, it's like a, the position is like a, for a dude who takes pictures at parties. And they, they just want you to take like a ton of pictures and they don't have to be good at all or anything. So like easy money if that's the case. And I hope I get it. They contacted me, which is a really good sign, which also makes me think that I won't like the job that much. Yeah, what's the old saying go? Um, I don't want to be a part of a club that would have me as a member. That goes exactly for this, uh, to the T. So, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll turn on the camera in the interview. That'd be really funny. <laughs> and yeah, Betty Bye time. It was a fun day. Got a lot done, actually, today. Off camera that you guys, whatever, you don't want to see this point. But yeah, so good night, guys. I love you. Sleep well. <laughs>
Empire State Building looks beautiful tonight, man. Purple and blue, that's great. So yeah, just got on my first interview in a very long time, and it went well. And yeah, I'm gonna be working New Year's Eve though, like doing uh, something, taking pictures in Times Square, I guess. So, kind of a bummer, because I would have liked to spent that with Ricky, but I mean, money's green, right? You know, so, doing that. So I'm treating myself to some fucking Shake Shack, because holy shit, I'm starving, haven't eaten all day. Just been going, running around. <sighs> So is this happening or what? I don't, I don't get it. Uploaded. Processing, please wait. Processing 0%. There's nothing there. Calling. I don't want to re-upload this. That's way too long. I need to go to bed. When it comes to being at least a photographer, or I guess any small business, really, you can't put a price on the look of legitimacy. So I'm working on a website so that I don't, you know. What the hell is this? It's like, oh my god, gross. It's like sauce on me. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> One sec. It's better. Okay, fix it with nudity. So yeah, like I was saying, you can't put a price on legitimacy, especially when you're dealing with clients that don't really know what the hell a good product is, which is, I guess, a lot of stuff, but photography especially, because if they could take their own picture, they would, but they don't know what they're doing, so they don't know what a good picture is either, so it doesn't really matter if you take a good picture if you have a nice website. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself, so that's what I've been working on all night. Well, we can figure it out from there, but at least I'll have that to go back to. But yeah, so I did. So I did all that. But that was good. I did a lot of work today. I feel accomplished. And I get up and do more tomorrow. Actually, I have to contact a lot of YouTube people because apparently, this is weird, right? Apparently, um, the newspaper I work for wants to do a piece on YouTube celebrities in New York. And the newspaper, who, remember, I'm just a freelance photographer for them. They sent me basically out in the woods to try to find these YouTubers to interview. Not specific ones, ones of my choosing, so I wanted to try to find the Gregory Brothers if they're not too busy. Uh, maybe improv everywhere. Daily Grace probably, because we tweet each other sometimes, so I feel like this, you know, at least there's open communications there, so I'm gonna come find you. Grace. By the grace of God. And then maybe somebody else. And yeah, you guys should let me know if you can think of any YouTubers who are like specifically New York who you think they'll get enough street rep. Because this is a good chance to build cred. Yada 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 yada. I have to like back out of the bathroom because it's too tight. <laughs> With my hand out the camera. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. But uh, I love you guys. Sleep well. Look out for sauce all over your suits.